Hey everyone, welcome to Beach Sweat. My name is Christina and this is a 30 minute calming yoga flow. For those days where we don't really feel like doing too much effort, but we still wanna find ease and space in our body and still get a little bit of movement in, but a little bit of like meditation in motion. So I'm really looking forward to leading you through this 30 minute practice. Really, let's just find a comfortable seated position if you need, you can be laid down for this starting part too, but this is just a good way to ground ourselves into the present moment. Let go of anything that happened earlier in the day. Really just drop into here and now, anchoring yourself. Go ahead and shrug your shoulders up toward your ears. Take a breath in. Exhale, roll the shoulders down the back. Let's do that two more times. Inhale. Exhale, open mouth. Let the shoulders drop. One more time, inhale, and exhale. With that last exhale, placing your palms facing down in your lap, eyes get heavy, fluttering and closed. Relax the space in between the eyebrows. Sometimes when we're a little stressed, we furrow the eyebrows and feel the creases of the forehead begin to smooth, rooting down through your sit bones and lifting through the crown of your head, but nothing too rigid here. Feel the tops of the shoulders melting away from your earlobes and elongate behind the neck by lifting at the base of the skull, keeping your chin leveled with the floor. Good, softening. Notice your breathing. Good, feeling the breath move in your body, taking big breaths in through the nose and big breaths out through the mouth. Breathe in through the nostrils, feel the breath go all the way into your belly, inflating the belly like a balloon, lifting the ribs, chest, and exhale through the chest. Contract the ribs, decompress all the air out of the belly. Let's do that five more times. Inhaling and exhaling. This rhythmic sound stabilizing us here and now. So we're withdrawing from all the outer stimuli and getting more curious about what's happening on the inside. Can we let go of any to-do lists, any old stories, any stressful triggers, and instead appreciate the fact that you're here and now offering yourself this calming yoga practice, a little bit of meditation that we can take with us into the rest of our day. And start to wiggle your fingers. And reach your arms up and around, pressing the palms together to touch overhead. And exhale, rest the palms back into your lap. This time the palms can face up and you can flutter your eyes open. Welcome back. Let's get a little bit of movement in. I'm keeping the integrity of this meditation posture, sitting up tall, just tucking the chin in toward the chest and doing very gentle, small rolls of the head in one direction. Nice and slow. So I like to imagine like moving through a thick honey-like substance in the air so you're not swinging the head around. Get rid of some of those crunchy feelings in the neck and shoulders. The next time your chin's in toward your chest, pause for a moment and then inhale. Reverse the roll in the opposite direction. So when we're feeling stressed, we carry a lot of tension in the neck and the shoulders and the hips. So that's where I want to place our focus of our postures today. And we're gonna hold those postures for a longer period of time than we normally would. So we can really get in there. Good, finding the center again. Rolling the shoulders down the back. And now we can find our way into a nice child's pose, bringing your big toes together to touch. Your knees go about as wide as the mat. Reach your arms forward. Fingertips reach forward, let your forehead drop down. Take a big breath in through the nose. Exhale, release out of the mouth. Feel your heart sinking down toward the mouth. Inhale. And exhale. 
Bring your palms together to touch overhead. And you can bend the elbows, bringing the prayer hands behind the head. And then inch your elbows a little bit further toward the front of the mat as you sink your hips back in space, taking three breaths here. You should feel this in the middle of the back, underneath the triceps. So if you're doing other exercises for the arms, upper body, this should feel amazing right now. Beautiful. Reach the arms forward and then bring yourself up to a tabletop position on your hands and knees. Your knees are underneath your hips, wrists underneath the shoulders. Press into your right palm as you inhale, sweep the left arm up, looking up, and exhale, threading the left arm through, left side of the head down, pressing firmly into your right palm. Good. You can stay like this or you can reach your right fingertips toward the top left corner of the mat, or maybe even reach your right arm up. Internally rotate the arm and wrap it around for a half binds. So the left side of the head just gently down, breathing for two breaths. And release right palm beside the face. Inhale, sweep the left arm back up. Look up at your left thumbnail. Exhale, bring the left palm down. Wonderful. Really ground through the left palm as you inhale, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, threading the right arm through. Bring the right side of your head gently down. So either press firmly into the left palm so this left elbow is pointing straight up, or you can really release your left fingertips to the top right corner. Look underneath your left arm. Maybe you have the bind, reaching left arm up and wrapping it around for two breaths. Slowly unravel if you have that bind, bringing the left palm beside the face. Sweep the right arm up, inhale. Exhale, palm down. Lovely. Now we can just find our way onto the front of the body. Reach your arms out to a T, bring the palms facing down. Bend your left knee, and then start to reach back with the left toes, like tapping the left toes, and then you get an opening in the front of the right shoulder. The foot might not tap all the way, that's okay. You can just bend the knee, otherwise lifting. Roll through center, be very gentle here. And then you can bend the right knee, bringing the right toes to tap behind you. Left side of the head gently down on the mat and then press firmly into the left palm. Slowly come through center, beautiful. And then press back up to hands and knees. Good. Coming to sit on your heels, finding hero's pose. You can just sit on the heels, palms facing up, close your eyes for a moment. And flutter the eyes back open. Lifting up just enough that you can bring your toes under. So flex the feet. Tucking the toes, even making sure those pinky toes get underneath, and then sit on your heels. This can be very intense. We're stretching out the feet. We don't give much love to our feet. We have to, because we're always like on the feet. So really stretch the arches and just stay here. Just try and stay for five breaths. Okay. So part of really getting into these areas where we have tension is to hold the posture for longer. Use your breath, focus on your exhales if you start feeling upregulated energy. Beautiful, and then roll forward, point the toes, bring your hips down, and extend the legs long in front of you. We're just gonna bend the knees now, just kind of Roll into the legs, rounding the back. Good. You can draw your hips a little closer toward your heels, and then we're gonna roll down nice and slow. Awesome. Bringing the knees in toward your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze, and then place the soles of the feet down. Good. Pick up your left ankle and place it on top of the right thigh. You can use your left hand to press away the left knee, keeping the left foot flexed. 
We're getting ready to get into the hips a bit. Breathe in. You can lift the right ankle and maybe clasp your hands behind the right thigh and draw the legs in toward you. So this might be enough, but if you want more intensity, you can press your left elbow into the left knee and then draw the legs in even closer. See if you can keep your tailbone heavy on the mat and the back of the head down so the spine is long, maybe even slightly tucking the chin. And we're staying for five more breaths. Long breaths in. Even more long breaths out. Really extend it, exaggerate it. Unclasp the hands from behind the right thigh, and then open up your arms to a cactus or a T shape. Let your let, like you're going to stamp your left foot over to the right side, and then you can use your right hand to press away your left knee. So now we're feeling it in a different area, maybe even around where the IT bend is, side of the left hip. It's a very hard area to stretch. So breathe here. Maybe look over your left shoulder. We're going to be here for five breaths also. Each exhale helping you soften and surrender into this posture. One more breath in. Exhale, nice, really calm, slowing it down. Roll onto the back of your body. Good. Cross the left leg over the right. Draw the knees in toward your chest. Now we're going to grab the outside of our feet and then draw the feet away from one another. You should feel this on the side of the thigh. So the more you pull the feet apart, the more you're going to feel this. For five more breaths. Two, and one, and slowly bringing the soles of the feet down, and uncross the legs, feet are hip width distance. Let's do the other side. Picking up the right ankle, place it on top of the left thigh, keep this right foot flexed if you can. With your right hand, press away the right knee and just stay here for a few rounds of breath. If you want an even deeper stretch, you can use the heel of your left palm, press it into that fleshy part where the hip and the thigh meet, so you get kind of an opening in the lower back as well. Good. Staying like this, or if you want to go into that figure four stretch, pick up the left foot off the floor, clasp the hands behind the left thigh, keep both feet flexed, press your right elbow into your right knee, and then draw the legs in toward you. So you should feel this very deeply on the outside of the right hip. Good. And it's totally natural if all of a sudden we're tensing up other parts of the body when we're getting into the hips because this is where we carry a lot of stress. So really just come back to your breathing. Long breaths in and out through the nose. Five more breaths here. Maybe close the eyes. Awesome. Unclasp the hands from behind you, from behind the left thigh. Open up your arms to the side just as a way to make sure that the shoulders can stay mostly down and draw your right foot as if you're going to stamp it over the left side. Good. Finding this twisting variation, you can use your left hand, press away your right knee, and then take a breath in and exhale, look over your right shoulder. Five breaths here. Feel like there's space getting in that area at the top of the right hip. Even the lower back. If you ever experience lower back pain, this could help ease some of that tension. One more breath in. 
exhale. Wonderful. Slowly roll onto the back. Nice. Cross the right leg over the left. Inhale, bring the knees in toward your chest and now grabbing the outside of the feet and pull the feet apart. If it's hard to grab the feet, you can always grab the ankles or the shins. And then the more you pull the feet apart, the more you're deeper you're going to feel the stretch. Just keep breathing. Release the feet, soles of the feet come down, uncross the legs, knock the knees in together to touch, walk the feet about mat width distance. You can find this goal post with the arms and then inhale, knees over to the left. Just windshield wiper the legs through center and then the right. And maybe you turn your gaze the opposite direction as the knees move that way. So gaze left, knees right, reverse. Good. And go ahead and bring your knees into your chest. Extend the arms down the length of the mat, palms facing down, and lift the legs into the air. So having the feet above the heart is a really nice way to relax the nervous system or have the blood flowing in the opposite direction. You can stay like this, or if you want, you can find a shoulder stand. If you have it in your practice, you roll the hips up and then bring the palms to the lower mat. Fingers facing toward your legs and keeping the ankles and knees stacked over the hips. Five breaths here. Good. To come out of shoulder stand, if you wanted to place the palms down and slowly roll down vertebra by vertebra. Bring the knees back into your chest once the tailbone's resting and rock from side to side. Slow and steady. Okay, and now we can rock and roll a few times up and down the spine until you find your way into a seated position. We're gonna do a deep stretch for the front of the thighs. Okay, coming to sit on the shins and then walk your feet to the outside of your hips so you're sitting down on the mat. So this might be enough for you, this is pretty intense. If this is too hard on your knees, you can lift your seat up by placing a block or a pillow underneath you for more support. From here, if you want more intensity, start to walk the palms back, leaning back. Good, trying to keep the knees toward one another, maybe you come down onto the forearms. Maybe you let the head drop back. We're gonna be here for about 10 breaths. If you have a lot of flexibility, you can come all the way down and then grab opposite elbows overhead. Make sure to listen to your body today. This is a very intense stretch. I know it's a common yoga practice, but sometimes there's a lot of tension in the body when we have to do these longer hold postures, but please listen to what your body's asking for today. So maybe pull out of it a little bit, or just let your body relax into the pose. Five more breaths here. Deep breaths in and out, almost there. Okay, to come out of the pose, you're all the way back. Press into the forearms, the elbows, slowly come back up. Awesome. Then bring your feet underneath your sit bones. Come to sit on the heels. And we're going to come to a restorative child's pose. It's called seed pose. So roll forward, bring your forehead to the mat, and extend your arms alongside the body with the palms facing up. Maybe rub your forehead a little side to side. And just let your shoulders flop open. This is a really nice pose to do after that deep pose we did. It was a bit of a back bend. Mm -hmm. Keep rolling yourself up to seated. Take your time. Stack. 
stacking the spine so the shoulders are over the hips. Bring one hip down. Extend the legs long in front of you. Wonderful. And now we're going to move into a nice fold. You can keep a bend in your knees, similar to the one we just did, but now getting a bit more length, the whole back body, the whole length of the spine. So inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, think about bringing your belly to your thighs. So we don't need to be like reaching that far. Just let your body fall into it, maybe grabbing the shins or the feet. for three more breaths, holding here. And slowly roll up to seated, bringing the soles of the feet together, opening up the knees, and then just rolling forward. Feeling this on the outside of the hips, this little diamond shape. Roll yourself back up to seated. We're going to do a different variation now. We get inside of the thighs area, front of the hips. Draw your feet a little closer toward you. Good. Clasp your fingers over the toes, drawing the thumbs inward. Find length in the spine. Squeeze your shoulder blades toward one another. Inhale and then exhale. Hinge forward only as far down as you can come with a straight spine. Inhale and exhale. The knees are opening to the side. Really deep stretch for the groin area. Knees slowly come up. Good. Bring the knees toward one another. And then extend forward, bringing your hips toward your heels and roll all the way down again. Good. You can just place arms up to the side, knock the knees in together, feet as wide as the mat. Bring one hand to your chest. Bring the other hand onto your belly just to give us a greater sense of gravity. Close your eyes down here. Nothing else you need to do, just let the body and the mind relax now. Only a couple more postures left. Start to heel toe the feet toward one another. And extend the legs down the length of the mat. Point your toes. Walk your palms underneath your glutes. Palms facing down, squeezing behind the shoulder blades. Press into your forearms and lift your chest. We're going to come into a fish pose. And then open up the front of the throat. Let the crown of the head drop back, looking behind you. Staying here for about three to five breaths. To come out of the pose, press into your forearms, tuck your chin all the way first and then roll down really slow. Nicely done. Remove the palms underneath you. Fingertips raising your heels, walk them in close. Inhale, lift up the hips, just a gentle bridge pose. Slowly roll down, vertebra by vertebra. Heel toe the feet toward one another, and you can let the knees open to the side. Bring the hands back onto your chest. Close your eyes. And to come out of this pose, you can bring your hands outside of the thighs, guiding the knees together like you're closing a book. Extend the left leg down, up, and then the right leg. Okay, finding our final resting pose, but we can make this more restorative if you have a rolled up blanket or a cushion you can place underneath your knees. This will be a nice way to have a more restorative variation. And then release your arms alongside your body with the palms facing up. Let the eyes close completely. 
Good. Start to scan down the body now, just scanning for any last lingering sticky spots. What can we let go of? Starting from the crown of the head, moving down, relieving any last bit of tension. Scanning all the way down toward the soles of the feet. And then let every muscle and bone get completely heavy and melt into the earth. See if you can even relax the organs inside of your body. Relax the tongue away from the roof of the mouth and let the eyes become heavy in their sockets. The bottom teeth separate away from the top teeth. feel good about the fact that you gave this time to yourself to just find a calming, grounding practice, meditation in motion, a nice compliment to any workout routine or busy, hectic lifestyle, a reminder to slow things down, a reminder to relax and ground. You can start to deepen your breathing. Coming back into the space that you're in. Just becoming aware of any nearby sounds or the feeling of your body resting here, heavy and relaxed. You can start inviting in small movements, maybe rubbing the fingertips together to touch and wiggling your toes. Circling at the ankles and the wrists, really taking your time. Let the eyelids stay heavy. Let your head drop from one side and then slowly over to the other. Reach your arms long overhead. Give yourself a long stretch and then release. Bending one knee at a time, bringing the soles of the feet onto the mat before rolling over onto whichever side you're choosing in a little cocoon shape, using your bottom hand or arm as a pillow. Taking a few more restful breaths here. And only when you feel ready, you can press into your top hand to gently guide yourself back up to an easy cross-legged seated position. If you'd like, you can bring your hands together at your heart space, a little bow of your chin, into your hands, honoring yourself in this practice, and whenever you feel ready, fluttering the eyes open, coming back into the space. That was a 30 minute calming flow. I hope you feel relaxed, I certainly do. And you can come back to this practice anytime you wish, if you feel like you've been too busy with work, or if you just need some time to stretch out your body from like a really hard workout routine. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon on Beach Sweat. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.